I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so I'm sure many of you probably know about the ridiculous hardware requirements of Windows 11. So I just, uh, decided just for the heck of it, I would download the PC Health Check app onto the Midtower Lux, this system here, my uh, main computer. And of course it says that the PC currently does not meet Windows 11 system requirements. Why? Because the processor isn't on the support list. That's right guys, so the, uh, the cutoff for official support for Windows 11 on the AMD side of things would be the second gen Ryzen processors. So the Midtower Lux does have a first gen Ryzen CPU. It's a Ryzen 7 1700X from late 2017. That's when it was installed. Uh, and this system was last upgraded right around New Year's 2018. So it's crazy guys. So just to think, this system which uh, this last had seen its uh, it's seen its last upgrade right at the crack of 2018. Um, so 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. So four years old, if you want to call it that, four years old, and it can't run Windows 11 because of oh the CPU. Now theoretically, um, I can upgrade the processor in this machine to a at least a second gen Ryzen, and it would. Uh, it would actually clear just fine because it says right here to PC support secure boot, TPM 2.0 enabled, there's at least 4 gigs of system memory, system disk is at least 64 gigabytes, processor has two more cores, the processor clock speed is 1 gigahertz or faster. So when you look at the re you look at the remaining results, you would think, okay, okay, what's the problem? The processor clock speed is 1 gigahertz or faster, it's at least two or more cores, but it's not, it's not officially supported. So, be honest guys, um, and, and, and here's a crazy thing, so even Microsoft is publishing ways around these requirements to get Windows 11 installed on your computer. And um, I should mention, Windows Update on Windows 10 will now tell you if your computer is capable of running Windows 11, even when you're not on the latest build of Windows 10. So, the Midtower Lux, for example, is on 21H1, so that's one that's one platform that's one uh up, update behind the most uh, um, the most recent Windows 10 build which is 21H2. But yeah, it's crazy. Um and this is exactly why Windows 8 in my opinion could be the next Windows Vista for this ridiculous reasons you have these hard these these extreme requirements. I mean, this is what kills me. The uh this, this is a TPM 2.0 system. It supports secure boot. All that good stuff, but yet, uh, because uh, this processor is just a tad bit older. It's a 2017 CPU, by the way. 2017, and it can't run Windows 11. This is why this is why there's so much backlash against uh, Windows 11's requirements. So much that even Microsoft is publishing on their website um, <clears throat> ways to get around these requirements. Um, and this is here's what's funny is when you're in Windows 11 and you go to install updates, um, it'll tell you that the computer does not meet the current requirements of Windows 11. Um, so I'll go to Windows Update on Midtower Lux, and Windows 11 users are even getting something like this. So when they're in Windows 11, they'll be seeing um, they'll be seeing this kind of message in their Windows Update window, which I think is kind of just uh, yeah, kind of funny in a way. But, um, yeah, I heard, I had seen on a uh, website the other day that Microsoft released this update, uh, Windows Update, to where um, on Windows 11 systems it would tell you um, the system does not currently meet the uh, requirements of Windows 11, but yeah, it's running Windows 11. Oh, the irony. Um, <laughs> and it's ridiculous. So, yeah, um, I do plan to eventually start messing around Windows 11. I'm going to probably be installing it, or I will be installing it, on systems that aren't officially supported. Because, uh, I mean, the Midtown Lux, I mean, all it, typically, all it really needs to be officially supported would be a new Horizon CPU, and it would run it. But nothing else I have is technically capable of running Windows 11. And I have a handful of machines that do support TPM, 
and have secure boot. They're from that era. The one is eight era. The one is ten era, roughly. So that's the, that is the thing about one is eleven guys that um, that people are so ticked off about, and why um, I'll be honest with you. Um, if Microsoft does not start making some changes, um, they're either going to have to extend Windows 10 support past 2025, or they're going to have to relax some of these extreme requirements. I mean, it's it's blatantly obvious. I mean, even when Microsoft is allowing workarounds, publishing workarounds on their website on how to get around, like they tell you how to go and they, they tell you. What retro keys to modify? All that good stuff. Um, if I can think of it, I'll look up the I'll look up the site and put it in the description. Um, but yeah, Microsoft is even publishing registry hacks on how to get how to be able to do like in place upgrades from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on systems like Metalux that have just one thing wrong. You know, like the CPU. Even though that CPU is clearly capable of running the OS, I mean, people have installed Windows 11 on stuff way older. Um, because of that ridiculous requirement, it would normally refuse to install. So, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that maybe Microsoft will will see the big picture here, and they may say, okay, we stepped a little too far with these requirements. Let's go ahead and ease those requirements just a little bit, at least. <laughs> or they're going to have to uh, extend support on Windows 10. I mean, it's setting it. It could end up setting up like a. Windows XP versus Windows Vista kind of deal, um, where Windows or you know Windows Vista, this poor reputation um, is one of the reasons why Windows XP got supported for many many years after it was ever intended to be supported. I mean Windows XP got supported until 2014, and part of the reason why is because there were some computers out there such as netbooks, early the early netbooks that were pre Windows 7. Uh, they typically got Windows XP because uh, they couldn't run Windows, Windows Vista. Now, to be honest, yeah, they could run Windows Vista because uh, <laughs> I actually installed Vista Business on my old Aspire One AOA 150, um, just with a minor RAM upgrade. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so it, it's looking like it could either be a uh, a situation of um, Microsoft having to extend support for Windows 10 past 2025, and or they're going to have to relax some of these hardware requirements. I mean, as I, I think, as, as I said, they, in a way, kind of already, they're kind of already doing that, just unofficially. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah. In case you wanted to, it's the Mid Tower Lux in its current form. Um, the uh, since it's twenty early twenty eighteen upgrade, can run Windows eleven. The answer is a big profounding no, but yes, it can. <laughs> so anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.